Hare Krishna devotees, welcome to Shloka Day. Today is Shloka, Shloka number 17 of chapter 13. Avi Bhaktam Cha Bhuteshu. Avi Bhaktam Cha Bhuteshu. Be Bhaktam Iva Chasthitam. Be Bhaktam Iva Chasthitam. Bhuta Bhartritta Tagyayam. Bhuta Bhartritta Tagyayam. Grashishnu Prabha Vishnu Cha. Grashishnu Prabha Vishnu Cha. But for one meaning translation in Bhagavad by His Divine Grace. Shila A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai. Bhaktam. Avi Bhaktam. Without division. Without division. Cha. Cha. Also. Also. Bhuteshu. Bhuteshu. In all living beings. In all living beings. Vibhaktam. Vibhaktam. Divided. Divided. Eva. Eva. As if. As if. Cha. Cha. Also. Also. Sthitam. Sthitam. Situated. Situated. Bhuta Bhatra. Bhuta Bhatra. The maintainer of all living entities. The maintainer of all living entities. Cha. Cha. Also. Also. Tat. Tat. That. That. Nyayam. Nyayam. To be understood. To be understood. Grashishnu. Grashishnu. Devouring. Devouring. Prabhavishnu. Prabhavishnu. Developing. Developing. Cha. Cha. Also. Also. Translation. Although the super soul appears to be divided among all beings. Although the super soul appears to be divided among all beings. He is never divided. He is never divided. He is situated as one. He is situated as one. Although he is the maintainer of every living entity. Although he is the maintainer of every living entity. It is to be understood. It is to be understood. That he devours and develops all. That he devours and develops all. So Prabhupada writes in the purport, the Lord is situated in everyone's heart as a super soul. Does this mean that he has become divided? No. Actually, he is one. The example is given of the sun. The sun at the meridian is situated in its place. But if one goes for 5,000 miles in all directions and asks, where is the sun? Everyone will say that it is shining on his head. In the Vedic literature, this example is given to show that although he is undivided, he is situated as if divided. Also, it is said in Vedic literature that one Vishnu is present everywhere by his omnipotence, just as the sun appears in many places to many persons. And the Supreme Lord, although the maintainer of every living entity, devours everything at the time of annihilation. This was confirmed in the 11th chapter when the Lord said that he had come to devour all the warriors assembled at Kurukshetra. He also mentioned that in the form of time, he devours also. He is the annihilator, the killer of all. When there is creation, he develops all from their original state. And at the time of annihilation, he devours them. The Vedic hymns confirm the fact that he is the origin of all living entities and the rest of all. After creation, everything rests in his omnipotence and after annihilation, everything again returns to rest in him. These are the confirmations of Vedic hymns. Yato va imani bhutani jayante yena chatani jivanti yat prayanti abhisham vishanti tad brahma tad vijnana sasva. This is from the Taittitriya Upanishad 3.1. So reading from one more Rampara. God's personality includes his various energies. All manifest and unmanifest objects are but expansions of his energy. Thus we can say he is all that exists. Accordingly, Srimad Bhagavatam states, Dravyam karma chakalas cha swabhavo jiva eva cha. Vasudevat paro brahman na chanyortho sthitatvataha. This is from 
second canto, fifth chapter, fourteenth shloka. The various aspects of creation, time, karma, the natures of individual living beings, and the material ingredients of creation are all the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna himself. There is nothing in existence apart from him. God may appear to be divided amongst the objects of his creation, but since he is all that exists, he remains undivided as well. For example, space may seem to be divided amongst the objects that it contains. Yet all objects are within the one entity called space, which manifested at the beginning of creation. Again, the reflection of the sun in puddles of water appears divided, and yet the sun remains indivisible. Just as the ocean throws up waves and then absorbs them back into itself, similarly, God creates the world, maintains it, and then absorbs it back into himself. Therefore, he may be equally seen as the creator, the maintainer, and the destroyer of everything. So essentially, the Lord is the cause for everything. Whether that causes creation, whether that causes maintenance, or whether that causes destruction, all three is actually controlled by Lord Vishnu. And the fact that he pervades everything in different levels, right, as the super soul of every Brahmanda and then as the super soul of every Jivatma. So he may look like he's divided, but his energy is present everywhere. And hence he is undivided. That is the inconceivable potency of the Supreme Lord. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification. If you'd like to join our classes every day, please check the details in the description section of this video. We look forward to serving you.